And I think we're getting flamingos. Oh yeah, look, he's almost albino. Like oh, yeah. Come on, bud. It's a cool so, toe. Does he go for your toes too? Yep. Yeah, mine does too. They're crazy. They're just like so. He came in at God, 32 that's pounds. Big, he's, oh. he's 12 and a half pounds now. So he's about like five years old. Super sweet now. He used to be aggressive. Now he's just um, like, where's the food? Yeah. Eats straight up only vegetables and dog food yeah. and mealworms. Same with mine. Yeah. I love but the colors. They fed him McDonald's yep. um, eggs and chocolate bars for three years. Mm. Nice. So if you guys see his before picture, he was scooting around like a sea lion. He could not move, and now we can actually see him with his. I thought Fluffy um, was fat. Mine. I thought mine was big. Yeah, I thought, yeah. This thing <laughs> is massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. No way. All right, so we're at a facility right now, and we're about to go see a bunch of flamingos. And these are the species of birds, flamingos that. We might be getting at the ranch, so this is my first time actually encountering with them and being with them. So uh, let's go inside and do it. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. These are for you guys to share. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, you do have like, two ears. Right? Uh, um, do not walk backwards on the exhibit because the flamingos, uh, they have weak legs, and if you actually step on one, they can break it. And if you break it, we have to put it down, unfortunately. Yeah. Right. Three different species. Three different species. Yep, so we have our American Caribbeans, which yeah. are the um, coral uh, orange colored ones. Okay. And then we have our greater flamingos, which are native to South Amer uh, South Africa. Okay. And they're the ones that are like almost white in color with yeah. pink legs and beaks. And this then is cool. we have the Chilean who is hiding right now. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Hey, pretty girl. So three species. Have the so which ones are the ones that are breeding? Are all three? Able to breed here? Yes. Yeah. So um, it's predominantly the um, Americans and the graders. Yeah. They all can hybridize with each other though. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just... Oh, I see. That's how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is Bimini. Um, he, That's Bimini? Yep. He and his mate, who is not coming up for whatever reason, Oh, this is cool. And this is just a pellet of diet for them? Yep. Do they get anything else? Uh, they have live food in the pond that they can eat. Oh, wow. Because they have like that filter, they filter through everything. Yep, the lamella, or flamella. Interesting. Anyway, can you ask? These things are cool. I've never actually been next to flamingos. Like no, this. either. It's really neat. The oldest is about... 33? 43. 43. 43. Wow. They live a long time. Wow. 80 years old. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. No idea. They can live so long. And those are his ankles, right? Up top? Yes. And then his, his knees are up higher. Yes. So I have emus, and that's what I've realized that as well. That's what I was reading about them. Pretty cool. That's really neat. The nest. They make like big mounds, like a nest thing, or like dirt. So, um, if you ever made a, a volcano for a science project, it's like that, right? I think I've seen it pictures. It's a lot like that. There's actually. Uh oh, we got them coming in. Some barely, poorly made ones in the back there. Yeah, don't walk by them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. So I'm guessing right now. So like that is a male, and like the smaller one is a female. That is correct. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yep. Uh, <laughs> normally impossible to tell the sex with yeah. birds. But, but for some of them, the sizes and things, yeah. Yep. I know cranes and some cranes are like the same thing. I haven't heard about that. Some cranes, yeah. I have African crown cranes. Oh, nice. Yeah. The males are definitely a lot bigger than the females. Aren't they really close to flamingo? 
Everybody calls her a flamingo because she stands up on one foot. Like when, when, when we get tired, we actually all do it. We all kind of stand like this. Or like this. Oh, really? Oh, so they get tired, so they do this. Like we learn something new. Like a flamingo. They're just very comfortable with where they are. They ah. feel no danger. Ah. So. Oh, so when you see them doing this, that means they're not scared. Yep. Ah. Those are left. Oh, wow. Yep, and then you'll see them go from leg to leg. Yeah. And this is just like a Missouri probably, right? From Missouri probably? Yep. Yep, it's a super condensed shrimp, krill. There's even some fish and fish blood in there. Some other goodies that they like. All right, so that was freaking dope. We just fed the flamingos and now we are on our way to North American river otters doing that next. Everybody gets fed here at the same exact time. So we're just like growing from enclosure to enclosure to enclosure. And uh, oh look, I still caught a tortoise, but let's keep on going. We got, we got plenty of those at home. Going to the otters, let's go see it. Yep, they eat meat about 50 days, but at 100 days they're fully weaned. So she is, what is she? Today is February 6th. Yeah, she's a little, almost going on three months. Tater, and then that's her baby Gigi. We had five babies here for them in the past. All of them? Yep, they're all gonna come in. That's, there goes Spud. She just drops chicken in poop water. Spanky. Spanky. <laughs> Uh, peach. So they're coming in for the night or they're... Nope, the door stays open so they get free reign of both the exhibit and the outside, but they don't really like spending time back here unless it's pressed for like the girls. So they're probably going to head right back outside and do the chicken. We bring a belly stand for you. Girls, it's always good to me. You ready, baby? Do you want bone and stuff too or not? Yeah, we'll do them bone occasionally, <laughs> just whatever we get donated. Yeah. And the chicken, this is chicken museum. Yeah. Get a lot of it. That's Daisy. No, that's Peach. Peachy! That's cool. This new system that you guys all did is freaking awesome. Thank you, we really appreciate that. I worked, my boss worked really hard on it. Yeah. I didn't know that the otters were previously across from Elvis. Yeah, yeah, Bella used to climb into the gator sometimes for shooting giggles. <laughs> So now we are on our way to an aviary, and this aviary is all filled with rescued animals. So you guys are gonna see birds with messed up wings that can't fly, things of that sort. And this place is a sanctuary for animals that can't go back into the wild. They stay here and live the best lives here, most of them. And then, actually, I've been coming to this facility since I was a little kid, and in here, they've, I found a tortoise, a turtle one time, very, very long time ago, a giant wood turtle. And when I found that wood turtle, I didn't know what the heck it was. It was shot by a shotgun, it had a big blowhole in the back, and then it got hit by a tractor as well. I didn't know what it was, I brought it here, and it's inside this aviary somewhere, so maybe we'll go find it, I don't know. Let's see, it's freaking massive. This one that's coming. Yes, he'll eat two, and you can do more than one if you want. Right. You can pick me, that's the dad of the baby elephant. Yeah, or? if you see them in the far corner, you can throw it to them as okay. well. Oh god, I'm not What is the that species, the white one? Uh, the, the white one over there, that one, is the great white American pelican, and the rest are just brown pelican. I released some of those before at the wildlife center, way back then. I know, you cool. Turtle way down there. If you guys can smell this, it smells real lovely. Uh, yeah, they got great <laughs> sardines or whatever that is. They all are. They all got beat up. But people not know how to take care of their fishing lines, most of them. Hey. Go ahead. Wait, he has to look at it. I just like that. It's 
Is it a baby, baby pelican, bro? Yeah, I think it's cute. <sighs> I feel like I'm a baby right now. Oh, look. The tortoise. Yeah. What'd you find? Go for tortoise. Oh. In the far left corner over there next to the brick, the box turtle. Good eye, Blake. Random things all in here. He's got an eye for tortoises. So like you guys saw, this place is filled with all different types of wildlife all throughout here. Really cool thing about this place is that when the babies are born from the animals that are injured, they have a second chance. Those babies will be able to get released and go back into the wild. Like sometimes the wildlife just wants to come back in because they want the free food. But it's better off that the animals go back. Like, what the heck is that? There's a freaking marsh rabbit right here. Look at that. That's so cool. Must have got hit by a car. It's probably like half dummy. And now it's going to stay here for the rest of his life. That's what I was saying. Everything that's in here is all rescue. Everything? everything in here. Came in because somebody couldn't take care of it. Like the red foots that are not native in here. And then all of the birds that you see all throughout here were hit by a car, fishing string. Any other kind of problem a bird could have out in the wild happened. Came here. Got better. Was able to survive. Can't live in its own in the wild. So it came here. And then another really big thing is, how do we say this word? It gets like attached to. So when people find baby birds in the wild, they keep them, which they're not supposed to. And then the bird just never leaves them alone. They come here, they get attached to. So then they just stay here and live here. But if they breed, babies get that chance to go back into the wild, which is pretty dope. So if you guys are enjoying this video, give this video a thumbs up because this was pretty freaking dope. And it's literally down the street of me. And I think we're getting flamingos, but and out of all the species of birds here, my favorite species for sure is definitely those spoonbills with that pink. Wow. It's kind of funny that I just said that. I didn't even realize. I told Dylan to start filming because flamingos, I guess that's why I said those are cool. I don't know. Let's keep walking. <laughs> all right, so tap, tap on the green. You go from the green. Come on. There we go. No, I'm not at that level yet. Give me your first time. The first animal you ever did here was Hi, the bird. What's his name? Josh. What's going on, Josh? Josh. I do, that's what I do. Josh, got snacks, bud. Josh. Bear. There you go. I love it. I love it. Just get hand fit up. Don't want the carrot. He ain't want the carrot. He likes strawberries. Strawberries are good, fam. Can I give him the meat? Try to put it a little a little bit up here for him. Cause his neck is low. Um try to not give him meat. Just All right, salad. gotcha. Just because I don't no want worries. him to just, though. Yeah, the monkey biscuits, the meat come, just get dog food. food. <laughs> right, is that what it is? I, honestly, come. I just don't want to touch it, but, and oh. I also don't want it to fall in there and go to waste, because he has, like, his weight out and stuff. So, gotcha. I, um, we don't have any in there, but, like, if you give him the grapes, that's fine. He don't want them carrots. This is a lockout just to eat and stuff, and then it goes back out, obviously. Right, so that's really he came from a facility, and he was living in a box like that for over 18 years, just on concrete. Now he has all of this. May I? When it's time. Would you like to do the lever? Yes. Okay, you're gonna unhook and then do the zookeeper thing. Zookeeper thing. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, and then you clip it back there, but you have to hold it until his back passes through. Got it. Remember. All right, so All right. pull it. Yeah, I think he's ready. Camera. I think he's ready. I think he's ready. You ready, buddy? Keep going back. Walk back with it. And then close it or leave it open? No, you're going to attach it on. The big old bear. So like I said, I hope everybody liked today's video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys all back at the ranch. Peace out, everybody.
Hey. <laughs>